Hello friends, today we talk about the MAIC roadmap and tools. Uh, in this video, we talk about the step in the MAIC and common tools to be used for each step. So let's get started. Uh, how often do you have your team face a problem and then implemented a solution and then another solution and another and the problem keeps recurring. This is because your team probably never sat down and really considered what is the root cause of the problem. This is where Six Sigma can help. So, what is Six Sigma? As a performance metric, Six Sigma refers to a level of quality that is near perfection. It strikes for a different level. That is no more than 3.4 parts per million. As a methodology, Six Sigma refers to the MAIC. It is a project methodology for improvement named after its five, phase, five phases of define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. The MAIC has the team focus on improving what's important to customers and use its data-driven analysis to diagnose and improve the effectiveness of processes, products, or services. Six Sigma is an approach to continue continuous improvement that integrates customer-focused quality into business processes. Using fast based decision making in project execution. So, what, what Six Sigma is not? Six Sigma is not just a statistic. Statistics is a tool, not an end it in itself. It is not exclusively a cost reduction program. Cost reduction is just one aspect of the Six Sigma approach to wealth. It's not a rigid mechanical approach. Six Sigma approach is flexible and can adjust to your need. It's not a finance share. The Six Sigma approach is not suited for every for every situation. The first phase of Lean Six Sigma project is defined phase. As the name implies, this phase defines the project. In this phase, we need to determine, determine customer need to be satisfied by identifying customer issue, creating project team, and defining project scope. The next, next phase of your project is measure phase. The main focus on the, on the measure phase is to identify and streamline the business process that fulfills the need. In this phase, we select one or more output characteristics to measure process value stream map to validate, uh, to validate the measurement system to get data and to determine current performance just to be test in this phase first is to define and validate measurement system and then to baseline current process performance the analyze phase is what makes makes lean six sigma process more powerful in the analyze phase the purpose is to identify variation drivers and to, pro to propose solutions. Identify and evaluate, evaluate all process inputs and determine which are most influential root causes of process performance. Steps in this analyze phase are to screen potential process causes, screen potential data causes, and improvement. Uh, and improve innovative solutions. 
Now that you know which piece acts drive the performance of why, you want to develop and implement solutions to address those key. Yeah. So next, so next is the improve phase. This phase is to determine the critical inputs to improve and identify improvement actions needed to attain project objective test uh, and to test improvements and validate improved performance the counter phase is most critical phase in your demanding project journey counter phase is to ensure that, that customer need is met and fixed is sustained steps in this way are sustain solution transfer and cloud project and in a recap a six, six, six sigma begins and ends with customer a step first step in the dmaic is to identify customer issues the objectives of this step are to translate VOC to CTQ to project Y and to assess stakeholder impact. In this step, we we'll focus on customer, who is the customer and what does the customer need and expect from us. Process, what our process provides, what the customer is asking for change what should we do to begin managing the changes that will occur through this project here are common tools to be used VLC sources and issues is used to try our inside our in outside in thinking and to avoid assumptions kernel analysis analysis to identify hidden expectations ctq tree to move from uh, Nebby alerts to specific VLC CTQ translation to identify the output of an internal business process, process flowdown to assure linkage to business strategy, change management to understand the keys to successful change, stakeholder analysis to understand what who impacts and influences, and risk, uh, risk assessment to identify unintended consequences that could affect project execution. Step two is to create a project team. Uh, the main purpose of this step is to create project charter and develop communication plan. In this step, we need to answer these questions. How can we optimize the effectiveness of our, pro of our project team, what is the problem we are trying to solve and why, and what can we do to proactively manage the change that will occur. To complete this step, we need the following tools, effective team elements to optimize team performance, Rashi chart to clarify role, team roles, and responsibilities, virtual team tips to overcome challenges, seek charter elements to create internal external team contracts, GOPQ to estimate advantages gained through a uh, uh, project, critic to avoid common charter pitfalls, communication plan to manage change via internal external communication. Got analyze elevator speed to unify team members' understand of the project. Uh, the, the next step in the is the define project scope. The objective of this step is to create high level process map to update document to the internal system and to complete the defined phase with the review meeting and sign off. 
in this step we focus on scope what is the right focus area for this project map at a high level what does the process that we will we will, we will improve look like okay and common tools to be used in our frame to determine what not work on QFD quality functional uh, function deplo uh, deployment to translate from a customer CTQ to a process wide selection metric is to identify best the best possible project alternative quick wins to deliver fast results where possible vision to determine critical to gauge uh, future project success MGPP multi-generation project plan to develop uh, a phase plan to deliver results COPIS to provide one page high level view of the process rapid results to ex execute uh, phase one deliverables quickly step five is to define and validate maintenance system in this uh in this step we'll create a uh, create a detailed process map we define a uh, defect in y we develop operational definition for y and validate reliability in this step we focus on process map or what does a process look like in detail measurement Especially, how is the Y measure and measurement vali uh, validation? How can we be sure that the Y measurements are valid and consistent? Okay, tool to be used is Swimland uh, process map to document the sequence of process steps, operational definition to provide the process detailed description of how the Y is to be measured. Guys and R to validate your measurement system for continuous Y data, attribute I and R to validate your measurement system for decreased Y data, and survey validation to validate the survey instrument. Step five is to baseline current process performance. The objectives of this step are to brainstorm list of potential acts if necessary. We utilize SME to focus on uh, focus the list of us and uh, to develop a data collection plan to baseline process performance to update documents to the internal system and to complete the parallel mental review of deliverables. Uh, questions to be answered in this step are what size data set is needed to characterize the process how well is the process performed today related to customer requirements requirements common tools to be used brainstorming potential acts to identify possible sources of process reliability rational subgrouping to ensure the data sample is representative sample size formula to check guidelines for sample size validity, data collection plan to design uh, recording methods for facilitated analysis. We use a descriptive, uh, descriptive statistic histogram to characterize the shape of the process, I chart, run chart to graphically characterize the process over time, common versus special to identify short-term and long-term variation drivers DPMO sigma level to characterize the process relative to customer specs G short-term to setting realistic process goals based on the uh, capability and benchmarking to setting realistic process goals based on best-in-class best-in-class Okay, the next step of analyze phase is to screening potential process for the data uh, for the process door. So the objectives of this step are to conduct process analysis with supporting in-depth process map. 
question to be answered in this step. How can team knowledge and experience be leveraged to screen potential acts which inputs appear to influence the output based on process team knowledge? Common tools to be used. Five we use five wise. I want to use team knowledge to seek root cause as analogy to evaluate alternative processes to creatively uh, identify the priori pro prioritized potential acts with the team work, uh, work the process to eliminate obvious process with, with value adding analysis to identify percentage of non value adding steps for consideration. RTY to prioritize uh, potential acts based on process step yield. FMEA to identify and prioritize potential acts based on risk, cost, and effect matrix to plan COPIF and FMEA to prioritize potential acts. Okay, next is to screening potential causes for uh, of data. Uh, here are the objectives of uh, the purpose of this step is to conduct uh, conduct data analysis with supporting graphs and R36 and to provide a summarized list of screened potential virtual ice. Okay, in this step we focus on Graphing which factors or inputs appear to influence the output based on graphing and or descriptive statistics. Which statistic which factors appears to influence the output based on inferential statistics? And we a tool we normally use in this step scatter plot. To see the relationships between a continuous y and x, Pareto chart to see the distribution of discrete data in categories, box plot to con uh, to see the continuous data segmented by a decrease x, dot plot for continuous data segmented by a discrete x, private table or bar chart to see the y x relationships for continuous or decrease data, multi varied chart. See the interactions between continuous and decrease confidence intervals to calculate the range of plausible population values. Normality test to identify whether data are non normal. T test uh, to identify statistical differences in the sample means. Chi square test to identify statistical differences in decreased proportions. Test for equal variance to identify statistical differences in sample standard deviation. ANOVA uh, to identify why dif uh, differences for different levels of an X. GLM general linear model to identify why differences for different levels of, of one X of uh, greater than one X more than one X. A regression to identify the correlation between continuous and uh, y and x. One and two proportion tests to identify statistical differences in discrete proportions. Okay, next step is to improve solution, uh, innovative solutions. Okay, the purpose of this step is to, is to brainstorm list of potential solutions, to select the potential solutions that optimize performance, to update the documents to the uh, internal system, and this also to complete the analyze phase with review meeting and sign off. In this step, we need to answer the following questions. What should what solutions could be used to control the potential virtual x of uh, x of the solution brainstorm which ones 
which one of the solution brainstormed which ones should be tested in improved ways, common tools to be used, anti solution to create development of an elegant solution, chain letter to solicitation of solutions from a virtual team, PIS to creating a workplace structure to facilitate solutions, mistake proofing to prevention of uh, to prevent errors created by potential acts, cost benefits analysis to develop uh, the finance financial case for the solution. Impact control matrix to screen and prioritize multiple solution options. Push matrix to screen and prioritize multiple solution options. To be process map to graphically document the improved process. Propose solution table to summarize the solution to be tested in TG4. Solution statement provide closure for the chapter via the, the third element, problem, goal, and solution. Step 9 is to validate. Step 9 is to validate and implement solution. The objectives of this step are to plot uh, pilot improvements, to collect data, to verify performance with comparison of before and after, to implement improvements, to update documents to the uh, internal system, and to complete belt and mental review of deliverables. In this step, we focus on validate solutions. Did the proposed solution have the intended effect on the X? Baseline after implementation of the solution, is the customer satisfied with the improvement in Y? Common tools to be used, pilot studies to test solution for potential unintended consequences. Theory to experiment with uh, with maximum st statistical output. Theory uh, fractional factorial to experiment with while minimizing test runs. Results confirmation to ensure that best design conditions are repeatable. Constructs construct uh, interval plot chi square test, t test, test for equal variances. To graphically or statistically validate the improvement and rebase line to characterize, characterize the improved process performance and its acceptability from the customer's perspective. MSA on vital acts to ensure that ice management system are consistent Okay, the, uh, <clears throat> the next step is to the step 10 is to sustain the solution. The objectives of this step are to develop and implement control plan to document the new process. In this step, we focus on control plan. What is the control plan to keep vital acts at their optimal levels? Monitoring. How will the vital X and the Y be monitored in the improved process? And here are the common tools to be used. Common uh, control plan to define optimal conditions for X and produce uh, pro procedures to handle out of control conditions. Tolerancing to identify the best testing, best, best testing for X to optimize Y. FMEI to create plans to prioritize and manage risks. That both scorecard, uh, scorecards to graphically illustrate process performance and the status of vital acts. SPC country chart to provide early detection of the changes in process behavior.
the last step is transfer and close project. And the purpose of this step is to summarize and validate business benefits with the champ, champ, champion transition to process owner to update document, documents to internal system and to complete the first review meeting and sign off. If needed, prepare a certification presentation. Uh, the question to be answered for this step is what is the best way uh, how can how can we best communicate uh, communicate and leverage the benefits of the project and what is the best way to hand off the project to the project owner and celebrate success with the team common tools to use to be used copq to understand costs and associated with not missing customer needs benefit uh, quantification to provide financial quantification of benefits deliver, delivered communication plan to provide stakeholder communication of results training plan to provide details on stakeholder readiness uh, readiness needs change sustainability plan to provide detailed plan to sustain the improvement documentation to summarize and organize project documents for project leverage to look for ways to apply learning in other areas and finally the team celebration to recognize and celebrate the team's success okay thank you for listening in the next videos, uh, we will uh, we'll talk more detail about each step and explain more detail about the tools to be used for each step. Thank you very much.